Hey girl, hey, oh boy, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, can you see anything different? Um, I can't see anything different. I don't think, is it something in my room? Like, um, no, it's because I got my hair done. Um, it's fading. Oh my God. It's only been like, how many days has it been? Oh, I just put myself in the eye. Ugh. If it's been a week, then, oh God. Oh my god, it took about like three days to do because the bleaching, like buying the products, then bleaching the hair and then waiting a day to do the flowers and the stencil along with it. And then we were like, oh god, we need to get a middle part. So we had to buy a middle one and then it took three days. So my hair's <clears throat> practically grown out. See like the brown hue around my head um so it'll probably be next time i'll have like a different design and i'm not gonna tell you what design ah. oh and btw um i went haywire on the last video i don't know why i looked over there mm. um because i put foundation on my face first which i don't do that so i'm just gonna have a chillax very like you know minimal makeup because i'm a sultry um woman <laughs> if you want to see this video stay on if you want to just click off bye bye felicia so oh oh oh, oh. so oh 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 my god it's time to rain for my first little step, I'm going to use my Simple Hydrating Light Moisturiser 24-hour um, moisturisation. <laughs> so it looks like that, if it will stay. Um, and I'm just going to put it on my face. Do I want a roller? Yeah, I want a roller. Hold on. Rates me back. Got my roller and I just got it out of the freezer. Um, so then it gives you more of a tight finish on the face when you roll it out. So then all the blood goes to the cheekbones and more of the, you know, higher areas of your face that you need it. And I just put my little ooh, moisturization <laughs> on the little roller and I just roll it out just saying rollers are really good to use because if you're using your hands you might have this situation of it going into your fingers and not mostly on your face and so I like the roller because you know it doesn't soak up the product and it gives out an even base around all of the perimeters I'll buy a roller today <laughs> Just saying, it's surprising how it can get into the crevices. I mean, like, this bit on your nose, I always do that, like, up, down, and then I go in by going like that. Just a little press. But, oh my gosh. It's, like, really good. I mean, I got mine from Primark. Come on, ladies. Primark. Did I just roll, like, a bruise onto my face? I done that a bit too hard. Oops. Right, so now we're finished with the hydration. I don't need that much of hydration because my skin is already oily anyway. I just need a boost of hydration here and there. Um, and so now we get on to the brows. I'm using my Revolution Pro pomade in medium brown. So I'm just gonna do that with my little brush, if I can find that one as well. Now I just dab it into the product and then I squish it in like so. So then it has a fine tip. And then I just go underneath the brow sculpting up and then swooping, swooping, <laughs> swooping down. And then I just do that. 
this is just an outline. You can be as messy as possible, but fix it with like concealer. I use the CN wipes if it focuses because it's so white. Um, yeah, I use the CN wipes just to go underneath the brow because I don't like a heavy concealer under the eye and then your skin's just dewy and everything. So I just want a natural touch. I'll try and show you this time because last time I didn't show the camera at all. So you go up and then swoop. Totally different eyebrows. Oh, no, they're not. Slightly, I mean, I can fix that with like the, the wipes. That's what I usually do anyway. Now we just double in again and we just do the top portion of it. Ooh. That is really thick. That is not the eyebrow that we want, sir. Jesus Christ. Who do you think we are? Who do you think you are? Telling the truth now. All but naked and the rest is drag. Was that good? Right, this is editing labors. And oh my God, it actually sounds good. The run at the end. <gasps> I'm shocked. I don't think that was good because usually when I sing, it flips up in the audio. So it probably sounded like a dying walrus. Right, so now I'm going to go over the top and hopefully do it properly this time. Because you want a thin. Now that looks the same, but it looks much better in my behalf. Yeah, it looks much better in my behalf. But it looks really big on the camera. Oh, I went really close to you, I'm so sorry. Warning! I'm just gonna go in and fill it in so then I don't, you know, have any patches or anything. And it looks seamless, like it's my natural brow, but we all know it's not because my brows are non-existent. And then I just use the top of the brush, that little end, and I blend in this area here, just so then it has more of a feathery most bleh, feathering motion in the eyebrow, which makes it natural. So yeah, good tip. I'm gonna do the other side and I'll be right back. Right, so now I've done both of them, I'm going to go underneath the brow just so then I can get more of a sculpt on this one because it went haywire. And I'm just gonna go in the middle bit just to wipe that away, just to have my correct amount of space in between them. If you're wondering why do I put them so far forward, it's because, I mean, they look, they look good to me. They look good. And I feel like a feminine brow goes to the forward more and it's just, yeah, it's just my look. Because if I'd done it to my natural one, uh, 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 it stops like right around there and it won't look good at all. I just want like a long feminine brow and yeah. If you're wondering what it would look like on you, just try it out. Just try it out. Just try everything out. See, now it looks a bit more better and they look more similar. And now I am just going to grab the Rimmel London Brow Pro Micro. Right, so I'm going to do my tail with these just to make them more defined and darker. See, more defined. And you can get a very, very sharp like point to it because it's a pen. And it's like an eyeliner, so I really love this product. But yeah, I just blend it in, and then I go in and blend into the natural brow. So yeah, hello. Ooh. I'm going to do the other side, and then I'm gonna get right back to ya. Ah, oh. right. So now I finished with the Ramel. Um, I'm going to go in with my 
L'Oreal Paris um, fine uh, brow art, the one with that weird stroke thingy. Wait, hold on. Like those little fine tip hair things at the top, a uh, stop at the top. And I'm just going to go like this through the brow. I use so much product. I'm not even joking. Oh my God. I don't even know that I use that much product in my eyebrows, but apparently I do. So I'm done with that and I've just gone in and blended it in. So then it gives it more of a blend. I just threw it over there. Um, now I'm just gonna blend the front bit because it looks a bit wacky on the camera. I brush with a spoolie very lightly on my eyebrows because obviously I've just put it on skin and there's no like hair in that area. Final product. I know, I thought we would never get there, but it's the Rimmel London Brow This Way. It's a brow styling gel with argan oil. So then it sets into your hair on your brow. So you can do like a little flick upwards, so then it gives you more of a bushy brow effect. And then I'm gonna do it on this side. And now I'm done with my brows. Yes! Yes! Right, so now I'm going in with Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer, which has the little top on the end. And I'm just going to dibble dabble it on my under eye. And I put it on the sides of my nose as well. I'm going to put it on the forehead. Just over those lumps and bumps. And on my chin. bit of it on my moustache area and the side of my nose. This looks really fun. <laughs> right, now I'm going to blend it out and hopefully it, it blends out correctly. Oh no, I'm not going red. Right, so I was having a freak out because I was going red because I did a picture on my Instagram and I used red um, face paint. I feel like I'm going red. I don't know. I used red face paint and it's kind of come out the top. Oh, it's definitely come out the top, but I'm scared that it's still there because it dyed one of my brushes. It dyed one of my brushes. Like, seriously, that. That's not red. Like, nothing, nothing's coming out of it. It just is red now. I'm like, what the hell? Well, it's pink because it has the undertone of that white. I have more brushes. And that can now be my brush for face paints. <laughs> Good blending skills, Maria. Jesus, okay. It probably doesn't look that good on the screen, but... Mm -hmm. It's a really good concealer. Absolutely live for it. I might do a little bit of the white one in the corner, just to give um, definition. Wait, hold on, don't use the bloody camera. Now we're gonna blend it out. Okay, now lightly dabbing the white concealer on my nose. So it gives that very pinched nose effect. This blending, Maria. Maria and Tornette. Okay, hello. I look Wow, that is good. These are really good. I promote these. Let's not break them, Jesus. 
Right, so now I'm going to do a little contour on my nose with the NYX Sculpt and Highlight Duo, like that. I'm just going to do a little, because I want my nose to look a little snatched. Now I've got my little baby sponge and I'm just going to blend out the nose. Now we just use this little tiny end and we blend. Hello! And now I'm going to use baby powder to set everything in place. So now I'm going in with the Palm World Contour Powder, um, the Makeup Gallery, Too Good To Glow, and it's called the Matte Bronzer. It's very nice. I'm not going to give it like, oh, it's really rubbish. It's quite nice for me, in my eyes. And I'm just going to go where I placed that contour, and I'm just going to blend it down the nose. I nod my head all the time when I do my nose contour. You don't have to be you don't have to be precise because you already put your liquid. So yeah. It's a good thing to have liquid contour as well. And so now you have a nose contour. Oh my god, I just fell over the <laughs> Oh, and now I'm going in with my mascara, the Rimmel London Day to Night. And I will curl my lashes first. <laughs> And now I'm going to go through the lashes with the smaller end. <laughs> you can hear my baby sister in the background probably. Looking and feeling of what? A woman. Now I just want to get that and go under the eye. Get that leftover contour bronzer that I did with my nose. And then I'm going in with the Maybelline New York Tattoo Liner. And I'm going underneath my lashes in the little socket area just to give more of a depth and it makes it look like I have more lashes. <laughs> okay, I slipped up because I just poked myself in the eye. Ow. But we can just fix that because I don't have any concealer up there. So yeah, I'm just going to use a little wet wipe just to wipe it away. Last and final product to use, which is the highlight. And now we have that. Right now I'm just getting a little lighter bit without the spraying, just to blend it out a bit more. On the cheeks. My God, I'm blending so much. I'm like, I wanna make it look natural, but it's not gonna look natural because, oh my God, that side is blinding. That side is like semi, satined to the skin um so let me try and make the other side look the same oh i'm gonna get bombed brilliant <laughs> now i'm getting this little brush right here 
and dipping in to my highlight, spraying obviously, so then it stays onto my nose. And I'm just gonna go like that, just to give it more of the definition. And you just break my mirror, brilliant. And fluffing it up, so then it makes me have a more longer nose bridge. And then highlight on the top of the brows. I'm just using my lip balm, um, just for a more natural look for a pout and everything. And I'm going to put on my earrings and, you know, jewellery or whatever, and I'll be right back. <laughs> end of the video. I look stunning. Um, I only just put earrings on. I didn't put any like necklace, necklace art, necklace. Not the necklace oh, oh. Um, I put some little hoop earrings on um, from H&M. I don't want to see any goddamn H&M. Probably could have bought off the rack of Primark, no joke. What the Blue fuck? Blue Drag Race had fucked up drag. Did I ever tell you the time that I found a dead body? What up, Jujube? Hayaku! Hayaku! Hong Kong! Michelle Visage. Look at my ass. We all pay. I am sick news! I'm getting my life oh. on this bus. Get out, get out, get out, We are at the RuPaul's Drag Race season 8. I'm gonna take a swoop. I am gorgeous! But you really go to comedy. This is how you have a perfect orgasm. Uh -huh. I'm a gender neutral elephant human hybrid queen. I just want you to feel my Katia can see you from her backyard. That's not soy sauce in your face. Hello, hello, hello! Hey, look, Ruth, here's Charlotte! Whatever in your face. When one video is, and then it's just going to be the one day in chocolate factory! Oh god, I'm so confused, I'm so sorry. That outfit off the rack was a huge disappointment to me. I don't want to see any fucking H&M. I can't say the F word because I want to get that, like, monetization. I don't want to swear. And family could be watching, so hi. But so yeah, this is the end product. And hopefully um, you liked the video. Hopefully you liked, you know, watching me just do all this glam. So, um, I hopefully will see you in the next video or not, depending. So, hopefully you liked and subscribed if you're new. And yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.